Okay, hello everyone. I'm Yang Gao from Machine Learning System Lab in University of Cambridge. And today's talk is about training end-to-end -end speech model in federated uh, environment. And this is collaborative work. I finished this paper with my colleagues from the University of um, Cambridge, Amino University, Telecom Paris, University of Oxford, uh, and Adapt Company in Germany. Okay, let's start. Deep neural network or state of of art performance for uh, automatic speech recognition ASR, mainly due to the large scale dataset. Uh, recently, with the development of mobile devices, a lot of audio data generated from these uh, devices every day, uh, such as uh, mobile phones, the tablets, the personal assistants, uh, smart cars, and so on. And this uh, user data is uh, usually with a private nature. So how to make use of this kind of data for more robust ASM model training without breaking user privacy. So the FL federation learning is a potential solution. Uh, we have no FL, right? Uh, so in FL, the, uh, the data always stay in the client and only the model base uh, will uh, upload to the server, which may help with the privacy. And yeah, we have known that FL would be a good way to make use of the user data for ASM model training in FL, but that is not straightforward. Let's see the challenges. So first, the client distribution is non-ID in FL environment, uh, which is a common uh, problem in FL, but in the context of ASR, the property of non-ID could represent like a different acoustic environments a word being spoken, spoken and different microphones. The second, the state of art ASR model are computationally intensive and not suited for the on device training in FL. Third, the ASR training is difficult and very sensitive during large stages of op optimization. Okay, so these um, challenges cause that it's almost impossible to train ASR model in FL from scratch, and there's no existing work su successfully did that. So to do the ASM model training in FL, we use a centralized pre-trained model for initialization. And on the other hand, the aggregation is another important effect impacting the FL training. Right? And here we investigate three different aggregation strategies. The so first is the standard fed average, which use a number of samples as a weighting. And uh, but 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 in the context of uh, in the uh, in the realistic FL uh, environment, uh, some clients may contain uh, the low quality data, which may uh, introduce unexpected noise into the training progress. Uh, so a potential solution is to use a training loss as a weighting factor, and hence reflects the quality of the locally trained model. Here is a second method we used, but in the context of ASR. The word average is commonly used as the final, um, uh, final evaluation metric for the speech models instead of the training loss. So here we also introduce word average, the WER, into um, the aggregation um, process. And uh, we use it to measure the quality of the locally trained model. OK, let's see some details. So here, the alpha K represents the rating for client K. And the first is the standard fed average, which use a number of uh, samples as weighting. And second, the loss based method, method use a negative uh, average, um, average the training loss applied to a soft max function as weighting. And the third is the word average based, which use a y minus word average applied to a soft, soft max function as weighting. Okay, so to test our proposed method, we need to uh, build a realistic FL environment. And here we use a common words French and Italy set for our experiments uh, because it's more suitable for FL. Actually, most existing work uh, use liberal speech for FL training, but we argue that the common voice is closer, uh, is closer to the, um, the FL, the natural FL conditions than uh, liberal speech. Now let's see the reasons. Uh, here we did some comparisons between these two data sets. So first, uh, the left figure shows the permutation entropy mean values for the speakers uh, in these two data sets. Um, the permutation entropy has been successfully used for the Microsoft identification purpose. And here we use it to reflect the, um, the acoustic conditions. And from the figure, we see that uh, common voice shows uh, the heavy shows a heavy uh, tail distribution. 
which means uh, the larger diversity in this, uh, in this commonwealth data set. And the right uh, figure shows the TSNI uh, representation of embedded speech uterines uh, using the pre-trained uh, speaker embeddings. So here, the colors correspond to the two speakers or the clients. Okay, and uh, obviously we see that uh, uh, speakers in the Commonwealth data set are harder to separate, right? So um, yeah, in conclusion, uh, the Commonwealth is more natural and more suitable for FL. So next step is to do the data partition. As we mentioned, uh, the FL model is initialized by the centralized pre-trained model. So to do that, we use a half of uh, data samples um, for pre-training. We call this step as warm-up, and the other half of data is used for FL training. Okay, um, so we, here we have two FL scenarios, FL settings. So first is cross-silo FL, and second is uh, the cross-device FL. And in the cross-device FL, we have uh, two scenarios. So first is single speaker using their individual devices, and the second one is two speakers per device. And as for the models, for all experiments, we use a seek to seek model trained with the joint CTC attention objective. Okay, now let's see some uh, results. So the first block of this table shows the centralized setting. Um, the results for centralized setting, which um, provides a lower bound for the experiments, and the rest is for the FL setting. And so first, we see that uh, uh, the cross silo. Uh, the settings got the uh, better performance than cross device setting, which means uh, due to uh, the similar dis uh, data distribution in the cross um, silo setting. And second, <coughs> the word average based aggregation uh, got a lower word average for all settings, right? So this uh, can be easily explained by the nature of this um, strategy, which uh, directly optimize the model towards the, um, the metric for speech recognition. And we also did some uh, hyperparameter tuning experiments. So here we showed the impact of number of sampled clients per round. And we see that the higher uh, number of selected clients producing a better performance. Uh, this can be uh, explained by the heterogeneity of the, the Commonwealth dataset. For example, the extremely noise clients may perturb the averaging produce if we only select just a few clients per round. Okay, yeah, just a brief, first, a brief summary. We uh, So we did the first study for realistic FL scenarios on end-to-end -end speech uh, ASR model with three different aggregation strategies. And we quantitatively compared speech, uh, liberal speech and the common voice data set towards a realistic FL setting. And our work uh, set the foundations for the future research of realistic FL ASR applications. Okay, thank you for our attention and the questions.